Hey guys, so welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. I'm Joseph from JustMatchy.com, and in this episode, we're just going to be polishing the styles up and fixing a few elements, just the sidebar, uh, links, um, different elements of the blog, and etc. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So you can see here our website it looks all right, I guess, but there are some maybe a bit too much padding and we can change some colors around. So let's start that. Let's go into our styles and let's find, let's try to find this element. Let's go to our blog with index HP. And in this case, we use the class author. I'm gonna find author. And I reckon there's a bit too much padding here. And I'm probably just going to change the color. Maybe a light gray. Yeah, there we go. So this is how you actually do it. Like when you're making a website, you want to look at what looks good, what doesn't look good. And you want to just play with it just around a little bit. Until you find it. Now that button looks really horrible. Let's fix that up. Okay. Padding. 5 pixels, 10 pixels, it's a bit big, but that'll do, and we'll add some hover effects, so, go here, opacity, 0 0.6, and then good button, hover, and then just go opacity, 1. So it gets a bit light and it goes in, as you can see. Maybe a bit more, 0 0.8. Yeah. And just for more effects, we'll add some transitioning. 150 ms. Or the ms. Okay, so you can see that nice fade in. That's nice. Um, what else should we do? There is one thing we need to do though. So, if you look here, the author tag, we we reduce the padding because it looks better without the padding. But if we go read more, this element that is sharing the same div needs that padding. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go into single dot php, and we're gonna add author single. We're gonna add an another class here. Single. And in our style.css, under the author tag, we'll go author, single. And we'll just give it a padding of 10 pixels from top to bottom. So now if we refresh the page, it looks a bit better. And the blog roll does not have the padding. So that's done. See here in the about page, the content here isn't that much. And if we search up something random and a no results come up, it's also not much. Um, content. So this results in the footer not being on the bottom, as you can see. So what we can do, let's go into our index.php, and you can see the blog tag is the uh, is this thing, I believe. So if we go into our styles.css and we style the blog, and we give a minimum height of let's say 400 pixels. And so if we refresh the page, that's a bit too much. Let's fix that up. 200 pixels. And therefore, it will not lift up anymore. So that's the minimum height. And these other pages can still extend because that was the minimum height. Yep. Oh, this is still lifting a little bit. Uh, just give it a little bit more. 250 pixels, maybe? Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so okay, so now let's uh kind of style up the sidebar. Let's fix things up and change things around. So at the moment we have all these padding and margins around the sidebar. Let's get rid of that. So for that header two, let's get rid of that. The margin, the padding for the widget, let's get rid of that. And save it. So now it looks as if the elements are like sticking to the edge of the patients. Uh 
edge of the borders and we don't want this pattern in the bottom because our this spe specific design doesn't want it okay and we want it to be separated each widget to be separated so let's give a margin top of around 20 pixels yep that looks better so we've got like space and yep let's style the li and now what I want to do, I want to have like boxes around each li, but I want the whole box to be clickable. So I'm not going to style the li, I'm going to style the a, the anchor tag. So I'm going to copy this padding top, so I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to style the a instead. So I'm going to go padding 15, because you want like a box around it, and we want some borders. So I want a border, bottom, one pixel solid, and a gray. And I want the same. Oops. I want the same for right and left. So that gives us. Oh, that's right. My my bad. So we need a display block. This so that it becomes one whole block. Like so. So now you can see the whole box is in fact clickable. And this is because we start the whole LA. So the LA, so not the LA, the A anchor tag. The anchor tag is, the padding of the anchor tag is 15 pixels. So the whole 15 pixels is cl clickable. So that's something good. And, yep, so that looks alright. Um, We can add some more tweaks. We can, oh there is one thing. If we scroll down, if we make it smaller, and we scroll down, you can see it attaches to the bottom. So we don't want that. So once again, we're going to <coughs> let's go back down here. Now let's go the widget last of type. And instead of padding like we did last time, let's do a margin bottom 30 pixels. Refresh the page. Nothing should happen because there's no objects there. But when it's when you make it smaller, it pushes away from the footer. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be adding fonts to our website, which is something that we are finally going to do, because at the moment, our website looks very dull without fonts. And we're going to use Google Web Fonts. And yeah, so get excited, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.